Now speak. I am a proud lawyer to you. I would not hear of subverting our cause. I told him at noon exactly. Didn't I? Your God has asked you a question. Answer him. She ain't come back. Alexander. But wait. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Stay silent, you! Bishop Alexander looks up at the sound of your voice, curiosity on his face. Recognition seems to flicker in his eyes for a moment, but then he shakes his head and looks back towards the suffering Atusa. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness? I believe we're done here. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. I told him at no The exact... Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. Where is he?
Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexander and the Hammer herself, they, they, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. You don't know them? Oh, remarkable. Bishop Alexander is the son of the Divine, the leader of the Divine Order. And Dallas, the Hammer, is his right hand. They are all that stand between you, me, and the Void. And they were right here just a moment ago, attending to some business. Have a look yourself, sir. I think the traitor is still there in a somewhat uh, changed condition. She's gone. Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. That, Magister, that was Bishop Alexander. Leader of the Divine Order, and his right hand, Dallas. How do you not know this? What, have you been living under a boulder? Alexander's the Divine's only natural son. Good man. I'm proud to serve him. Liberated my own town from the Black Ring, he did. We never had such peace as we did with his battalion protecting us. Now, why don't you move along and settle in? A Magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while, though. We're up to our hoods in Sinners these days. Saw him, didn't you? The Hammer and Alexander. <coughs> they gave that scaly traitor what for they did. Missed quite the scene. The Bishop himself with his right hand laid down the law on a traitor among our own ranks. One of the last lizard Magisters left. Burst into quite the bloody mess, she did. Bishop's a son of the dead divine. Don't know when we'll get a new one, but Alexander's looking after us in the meantime all the same. And the hammer's a solid sort. Don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. Earned that name for a reason, she did. <coughs> so in the time of Lucian, of course, who wouldn't join up with God himself? It was all glory, all goodness. When we lost him, well, it only made sense to see his will through. Lucian gave his life to protect Rivalon. If we let the Void Woken get to it now, well, we'd have lost him for nothing. Fort Joy ain't no summer camp. <coughs> no one said it were, but it's the best we've got to protect the realm. Can't for certain. But I reckon when God himself gives his life to protect you, you don't <coughs> waste the gift. You protect it with everything you've got. So that's what we do. When you give up the darkness that's inside you, take your fault, it's there, mine. But it's there all the same. They're working on a cure for you even now. Got some good leads, so I hear. <coughs> <coughs> you can trust Dallas to take care of it. And once you're cured, your life will start again. Where is he? Come on then, Lexi. Pay up. I find out great. I want no trouble. John! Brenner and Brisket told the same. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth. Right now, cut you up. It's time to accept reality. Have you cut? Disgusting. Just like all your kind. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day. Oh, but mummy's right here. Where are you? She's gone, Farah. Gone!
not mad, darling. I'm not mad. Sweetheart? Farah. She ain't coming back. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. You hear that, Farah? You got to cut that out. What's happened to you? Known her all my life. Her little girl Irma, too. Farah was a straight shooting woman in those days, but now she's madder and a cuckoo in twice as loud. Distraught, don't even begin to cover it. She's hollering after that child of hers, killed by a void woken she was. Been dead and buried for a month now. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. Please, please, you must help me. No one here will help me. Not one of these bastards. A child is missing. My best... Irma. She's called Irma. I haven't seen her in days. I'm sick with worry. Completely sick. And no one in this damn camp will lift a finger to help me find her. I last saw her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with her little doll, and I was washing out her tunic. I turned from her for one moment, and she was gone. Left her doll behind, too. It's so unlike her. Yes, of course. Here, you should take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her, Mummy says this is for her little chicken and it's time to come home. That's what I call her, my little chicken. She soaks up a steady stream of tears with her shirt sleeve. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. This place turns people cold. Cold and wicked. That fellow Jeth over there speaks unutterable evil, but I can't move away from him. What if Irma comes back and I'm not here? You are an angel. Truly you are. Irma? Where are you, darling? Come on, old man. I can't wait. Farah. She ain't coming back. I'm not mad, darling. I'm not mad. Sweetheart? Pipe down, Farah. It's time to accept reality. I told him at noon exactly, didn't I? Irma? Irma? Farah. She ain't coming back. Irma? 
I told him Irma. at noon exactly. She's gone, Farah. Gone! Greetings, child. I find myself in your so-called divine lands, yet I feel his absence deep in my heart all the same. Huh. <laughs> you may feel like an inmate here, but you and your captors are the same stuff in race and customs, if not heart. You'll see what a difference that can make. Less the void, overtake and devour us all. <laughs> That's it. I call court. Pay up. Don't like the game, Topsy, you can fold. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. <laughs> Chuff to you, Chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Quiet the hand, Freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. I'll be having your fee, then. I'm sure the Reds told you. No one gets along without paying the interment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. Don't think your connections will get here in time to save you if you don't pay up now. We'll see about that fresh. I'll yield. 
You're not trying to escape, are you?
Reaper for me. Father, who presideth over us all. This again? Father, who presideth over us all. Thank you. 
Father who presideth over us all. Arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? It's just... I've a proposition. Something... Something very worth knowing. But it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. In that case, listen up. You must think me mad to approach a stranger, but this camp is full of cowards and I'm running out of time. Fast. Too fast. Way too fast. Ha! <laughs> you would be too if you'd been here as long as I have. In fact, you should be nervous if you're here at all. I know what they have planned for us, and it ain't pretty. I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. Well, I don't know if I believe it. And I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Believe whatever you want. This may be your only chance at leaving this place. Take it or don't. Oh, noble. But after the magisters take you all, your nobility will have been for nothing. Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? Where are you? She's gone, Father. Gone. Change your mind about my offer yet? Who wouldn't? Finally someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple. Completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but 
With your help, we can both get out of here. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. It's found its way into a nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Here, give me your map and I'll show you where to go. Not enough to trouble a fine specimen such as yourself. Get that artifact, and you and I are as good as free. Go give those overgrown lizards what for. out of your mouth, you filthy cod chewer. <laughs> Have you, cud? Oh, God. Disgusting. Not now. Just like all your kind. This is not your business, long pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheapskate like this one. Griff already knows she don't like to pay her fair share. Pay up, Elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Everyone in camp's got to contribute. For food, for protection, no exceptions. Especially not for Elves. Griff's orders. Food? Protection? I have neither. Runs the kitchen. Means he runs me, you, and everyone else in camp. You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool. Never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. System. And it looks like you don't want to fit in.
I don't feel so good. Follow me, before more of them trouble us. There is a safe place. from the den outside. <laughs> <laughs> 